It can sometimes take years to develop a series winning race car, but not for the AMG engineers who developed the sensational Mercedes CLK GTR. From the initial go-ahead by Mercedes-Benz to serious track testing, it took 128 days, an astonishing feat considering the complexity of today's racing cars for international competition. The AMG Mercedes racing team is rightly proud of this achievement, especially since the CLK GTR won the tough international FIA GT series in its debut season. The CLK GTR, based on Mercedes' elegant new CLK Coupe, uses an advanced carbon fiber lightweight monocoque. Power plant is a 6-liter V12, similar to the one used in Mercedes' S-Class luxury sedan, but tuned to produce a thundering 600 horsepower. Top speed is in excess of 200 miles per hour. Immense cornering power is aided by double wishbone suspension, front and rear. Formula One style carbon fiber vented disc brakes keep the rapid CLK GTR under control. Few race cars have been developed as quickly as this one, and even fewer have been as successful right out of the gate. Mercedes-Benz dates back to the 19th century, when the old Benz company created one of the world's first automobiles, a fragile-looking three-wheeler in 1886. The name Mercedes was inspired by the daughter of an auto dealer, who helped save the firm during a bad spell by ordering a large batch of cars. Famed Mercedes models have included stylish sports cars of the 1930s, stately sedans, the legendary Gullwing, and many other landmark automobiles. Today, the Mercedes reputation is held high by models like the luxurious S-Class sedan and newer products like the SLK Sports Convertible and M-Class 4x4. Mercedes dominated Grand Prix racing in the 1930s with its powerful and immaculately prepared cars and again in the 1950s. Mercedes is now back in racing supplying engines to both Formula One and IndyCar teams, as well as debuting their CLK GTR in the 1997 FIA GT racing season. Following its pioneering heritage, Mercedes is now building prototype vehicles powered by fuel cells rather than combustion engines. Fuel cells used on space shuttles produce zero emissions and point the way to future transportation. It can sometimes take you. It can sometimes take... It can sometimes... Take 